Hey y'all, it's Pat again. Um, from the last video, uh, it's important that, to me, that I make the point that Tune's gonna mark the end of an era. Um, not just with um, employment or how I view employment or all that other stuff, but also with the house. There have have been a lot of different people to pass through here and a lot of different things going on. As you may recognize from past talks about this, but the problems of people having a lack of respect for others seems to be the same. And now we even have a housemate that is outright refusing to share responsibilities and food and pretty much um, refuse the whole communal environment that we're trying to establish that we introduced to this person that we told that we're doing before they moved in. And there's an issue with a housemate that has already been here where this person does not want to make time for the house. Um, there are some things that are necessary, but then there are some other things that are just clearly absolute avoidance. And I've been here over a year, and for me to still have to say these things that I was still saying months upon months upon months ago means that it is abundantly clear that I should not be here. Because, I mean, after that much time, things just aren't going to change. People aren't committed to the ideas that they say that they're committed to, and I am not in any kind of position to tell someone to stay or go, aside from myself. So after travels, I will be coming back here because there's no point in leaving um, when it's just uh, two months away. Well, I mean, early December uh, from now, just to like go somewhere else and get reestablished and then go traveling. And then I'll come here after travels and then shortly after I come back and I do my taxes and stuff like that, then I'll start looking for a new place to stay because it's clear that things just aren't going to work out here because of the people in it. And the fact that this isn't my setup where I have control over uh, st saying who comes in, who stays, and who leaves. I will probably move into someone else's house to get an idea of a way better model and have a more established idea of what I want to go on to start my own house depending on how much longer I'll be here. And I'm looking at being here for in Minneapolis, Minnesota for a few more years. Um, and I see that as time is long enough to be able to start my own house if I'm able. It seems to be very difficult to get the right housemates and make sure everybody's doing what they say that they're doing or what they're supposed to be doing. And at the same time, it seems to work out. Like it just, it, it all just depends because it's an issue of housemates. And it's, the issue is even greater depending on how many people you have. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. but. I can definitely say for right now, things aren't working out here. As much as I've tried to make them work, and as much as I've sat with things and tried to show things patience, I mean, there's only, I mean, there's having patience and then there's trying to make something out of a situation that does not have those key things there for that type of situation to operate. Um, so there's that, and there's also that I'm getting back into my spiritual practices, and I know I've said that before. I keep falling off the wagon because I get so distracted by social matters. Um, I have picked up and have not put down, uh, taking care of my health since, um, the union thing went public. And after that went public, that was a whole lot of 
free time opening back up from organizing. And I can't even say that at, even after that falling out with my coworkers, I've dropped it completely because now I've gone on to create my own space. But it is definitely something that I can look at as not taking up any more time than I wanted to and being able to focus on other things. I have also started going back to gathering. I don't know if I'm going to go this Sunday, but I will definitely be back more, frequ more frequently before I leave. And of course I will resume attending when I come back. And I got a nifty new pendulum. I don't, I don't know, maybe I'll post pictures later, but right now I'm, we're getting to know each other. I don't want to just throw a camera in its face and be like, do a thing. Um, I went in for a lapis lazuli pendulum, and the place that I went to didn't have them. Oh, they were actually running short on all pendulums. There were only three left when I got there. Um, they had two clear quartz with the other, with little, other little chakra crystals above it on the chain. And they had copper. And when I put my hand up to them, they all reacted, but it seemed like the copper, it seemed like the copper reacted more in a way that was more appealing to me. And also the other two crystals were chipped and cracked. Um which I know is way more about the um, the distributing where they got it from and not the store. But I was like, no, I came here for a pendulum, I'm gonna leave with a pendulum. So I feel like the copper one chose me and I chose it. We chose each other, definitely. And my friends, I can definitely tell you that it loves to dance. Um, so far, I, I don't think I've asked it any major questions. I've just asked it to like respond to me when I got it from the store just yesterday. And um, I've introduced it to my tarot deck and the energy is just like, I, woo, I feel the energy in my arms and my body. It's just so much positive creative energy because what is more positive and creative and energy generating than dance, you know what I mean? Um, but it's definitely the creative energy that dances around like that that is just bringing me so much joy and even though i'm facing some very hard emotional times right now i feel like getting back into my spiritual self will definitely get me back on track um i do regret saying that getting back into my spiritual practices is really something that comes in these hard times and when things aren't as bad i don't really think about it and the latest thing that has happened is actually a very new type of thing to happen, which is a way that I am handling it uh, differently because it definitely requires uh, forms of action, but I don't want these toxic people in this toxic environment out, not just the house but also at work to poison my spirit so I get back into my spiritual self to make sure that I remain I, I don't know if I should say clean but I remain myself and don't turn to something that I don't want to be um, and I guess clean really isn't the word for that because that comes with so many other connotations that could lead to some very unnecessarily negative things that don't relate to me and certainly aren't, aren't intended for me to say. Um, we go through life and our experiences are what make us. Our experiences and our own individual way of perceiving them and reacting to them. And it's true that we don't grow definitely or chronologically, like sometimes we do grow in dimensions or just singular dimensions just based on our experiences and there's nothing wrong with that um we shouldn't count on trying to grow into a whole bigger thing because that's being big shouldn't be what's important what should be important is being you so with that i bid you all adieu take care of yourselves and each other 
and kill your local rapist.